Hey everyone and welcome back to the Chris Carver channel. Okay, so today I'm looking at my Flowerhorn Oscar Aquarium. It's a 55 gallon aquarium. And I'm still looking at all the names that are coming in on the past uh, video for naming my albino, uh, my long finned albino red Oscar back there. Uh, a lot of cool names. You guys are so cracking me up with some of these names. I love them. Keep them coming. Uh, once I get a few more, I'm going to go ahead and pick one to be that guy's name back there. So in the process, you know, I'm sitting here looking at my aquarium here and it's still very fuzzy and it's getting a lot of algae up on all these plants and I'm hating it. I never really had a problem with algae. And now all of a sudden it's like every three days after I clean the cage, I got algae everywhere. Well, there's the culprit right there. I'm right next to a window. So, um, the big portion of why I'm getting so much algae is I don't have anything blocking the sunlight on the sides of here. So the background that's on the back, you know, that prevents a lot of sun from coming in from the back, but it's still not going to prevent everything, no matter how much you cover it. If you're by a sunlight, uh, a window with a bunch of sunlight, you're going to get this. You're going to get a lot of algae. So today I'm going to do a little overhaul. I'm going to pull a lot of water out. I may just take the plants out and leave it bare. I don't know. We got to just see. And I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to buy some pieces to go on both sides and hopefully eliminate a lot of the algae problem. I also have some algae remover that I'm going to use as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, after long debating on what I'm going to do with the sides, you know, I, I know there's a solution you could put on your background to make it come forward and bring up a lot of color. Well, I did go out and, and get that, uh, but I wanted to just spray some water back there and kind of put the color up to see how much color is actually there. I haven't, I haven't done this in a long time. So I didn't like scrape all the black out of the way or nothing. I just sprayed some water back there and, and, and made the color just to kind of get a glimpse of what I could have back there. So that's a possibility on what I'm going to do. Uh, everything is definitely super bright. What is that? Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try painting the size. With a decent paint where I can uh, scratch it off, I don't like it. But what I did was I went and I got some of this. And it's temper paint. It's a really cool looking blue. And I also got some uh, glow in the dark stuff too. It's the only glow in the, star glow in the dark stuff I could find. I'm gonna try mixing this in with that blue paint. And I'm gonna paint one wall. And I'm gonna see if it actually looks good or not. And if it does and it sucks, I tear it off. And okay, no harm lost. This is actually pretty cheap stuff. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'll let you see what it looks like. All right, what I'm doing here is I'm mixing a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark stuff with my blue. And, you know, I'm just trying something out here. I've never done this. I'm not a professional. But I'd like to see this blue just stand out on the side of this tank. And, therefore, I might just do the back tank just like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying Putting it on with this little bitty roller I found out there, so I don't have all the brush marks. So I'm really not sure what the other side's gonna look like. So like I said, we're just gonna give this a try. If I waste my time, I'm actually, you can see, I'm not gonna be wasting a whole lot of time. This is gonna be like the first layer. I'm gonna have to put like two, maybe three layers on here. Kind of interested on what it's going to look like, to tell you the truth. Never done anything like this, but hey, it's glass. I mean, you can't really mess up glass unless you shatter it. If I do it good enough, then I'll do the whole uh, aquarium that way. Just, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna let this dry here. And that's the first 
layer and that's what it looks like on the inside. It looks pretty light for my taste. I'd rather have it more dark blue like that. So I'm going to see if the next couple uh, shades will darken it up a little bit. Okay, I have three layers of paint on. That's kind of how it looks. <clears throat> I, I kind of like it. I mean, that's how the other side looks. It's more of like a mirror because it has nothing on there. But this is more of a... Like a... It's starting to turn darker. This is what it looks like on the other side. You can still kind of see through it. So I have a couple more layers I want to put on it before I make my final decision. But so far, I'm liking it. I needed it to be darker like this. And the background here, I think I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to put uh, the special solution on that's going to adhere to the back a little bit better. So once I get the sides of this done, then I'll work on that because that's going to take some trimming to do. I'm going to have to pull it off, put it on the front here, cut everything up nice and neat, and then layer that solution on there, then put it back on there again. So this is probably going to take until tomorrow to finish. So I'll keep you updated. Thankfully for you guys at home, it's only taking you a couple minutes versus my couple of days. So I hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay, so the sides are just about dry. I got both sides done, except I got two more layers to put on that one. This one I believe is done. It's actually looking pretty good. Um, I took the background off, as you can see, and I have that background uh, laying before me. Didn't know I was a poet, did you? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this Clearview stuff that I bought over at PetSmart. I've never used it before. But we're gonna smear that all over this. And this is going to be, I guess you kind of consider this a how to do video, even though I've never done it. We're going to see if it works. Uh, the background before was like very plain. You never really saw the background. It wasn't very colorful. So I'm going to give this a try and then I'm going to put this thing back on the back of that. But I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm sure I'm going to cuss a lot. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, that was pretty simple to put on. Now I'm going to try to squeegee out all those little dots, uh, air bubbles there. Hold on. Okay, getting there, just trying to get that garbage up there. So again, I'm going to cut because I am definitely cussing. Okay, I am very impressed with the outcome of this aquarium. I'm very impressed. I can't believe how light it is. Um, I, I, I colored the sides, as I showed in the, the beginning part of this video. This one's not done yet. I just have to get up there and do it. But when I took the background off, if you remember the way it looked before, it was very dark, you just couldn't see anything. Um, now, 20 years ago, I would put water on it and squeeze it off and it'd get really dark. But but the water dries up and it starts bubbling, it sucks. And when I put that, when I got that Clearview stuff uh, from PetSmart, and you know, you, you rub it all over this, and then you rub it in with your hands, every part of this, uh, this backdrop will get it. You don't want to keep anything dry. And then you put it on the back and then you squeegee out everything and the brightness is incredible. I cannot believe how bright this tank is. I mean, call me stupid, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. So I'm very impressed. Uh, there are a few bubbles uh, back behind these plants that came like up on the bottom. And I think that's just because my backdrop is like 15, 20 years old. It's probably about, it's probably about 20 years old. Um, so I... I'm probably gonna end up getting a new backdrop here in the next month or two. Um, but for now, it looks pretty good. I took some of the plants out, uh, put some algae eater down in there uh, to kill some of the algae. I took out 15 gallons of water and scrubbed it down. And now this is the finished product. So I am very, very pleased with it. I hope you are too. Um, anyways, make sure you share, like, and subscribe to my channel. That makes me, that lets me know that uh, you want some more. So have a good day. We'll see you next time.